And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Simic Yoink. That's right, we're going to be trying to yoink all of our opponent's stuff because their stuff's probably really cool. So we'll have Entrancing Melodies, Mass Manipulation, going with seven of those out of the maximum eight with the last melody in the sideboard. So yeah, this deck is pretty self-explanatory. We're just a green ramp deck trying to acquire a lot of mana with the help of Llanowar Elf, Incubation Druid, Paradise Druid, to a much lesser ex extent this Growth Spiral, but then of course Nissa, who shakes the world. And then after the world's getting sh shook and shook, yeah, then we'll have the manipulations and the melodies. And yeah, that's, a, that's our plan. So what does this do against non-creature decks? Well, basically all the decks have Planeswalkers, right? So like you just steal Planeswalkers with this. And you can also attack your opponent. Like we have Hydroid Craces that can attack. All these all these mana creatures get to attack. Nissa makes a bunch of creatures that attack. So it's not like we have to rely on their things. And of course, Frilled Mystic's main deck is, is really nice. Frilled Mystic's just a solid counter spell. Um, yeah, so that's what we have. Got some Aboreal Grazers against Aggro. All right, you ready to go, Hawkeye? Let's go, let's play some magic. <laughs> All right, so this is a donation deck here. This will be my first time playing this deck. I, haven't, I didn't put this one together, I haven't played this. It'll be my first time. Oops. <laughs> I don't think manipulation's ever a dead card. There's just there's not decks that don't play don't play creatures and don't play planeswalkers. <laughs> thanks, yeah, thanks for the cheers. Well, that's just like playing any removal spells. If if your opponent doesn't play creatures, they turn into dead cards, you know, if you have like cast downs or whatever in your deck. Yeah. That's what the sideboard's for. All right, we got some good land. We got a good amount of lands. So we'll keep this. Oh no, a mirror match. They're out faster. Okay, not quite mirror. Close. Yeah, we gotta steal their Thief of Sanity. So we can steal more cards. Would you like to see what's left of Sky? Unsurprisingly, mass Let manipulation would be a great card lost. to draw. <clears throat> yeah, I have with with my Selesnya deck how I have the the the, the Tristani in the sideboard. I did play against this deck the other day, like in, in ranked and um you know, they just like stole all like game one I just I ran them over, but then after that, um I don't really want to take a growth chamber guardian, we can take something better. I, like so I, I ran him over game one, uh with a fast start with like null hide feroxes and things like that. Like they they didn't have a very good hand, and then game two they had all their steel stuff, they stole all these things, and I just played Tristani and got it all back. And they were sad, and they they conceded. <clears throat> Have I played versus Bant midrange with the four Vivian C O T W and Teferi T R? Why would they make this attack? I mean, I guess so. I could, so do I want to trade my Lanowar Elf? For the 4-4, four, four. I mean, yeah. I guess they can have instant speed deputy. All right, I'll just block with this. Yeah, I, for I forgot. I thought the incubation druid was going to eat it, but it's not going to. All right, thumbnails ready. Thanks, Yud.
Wait, they let the Growth Chamber Guardian die? Wait, what? Oh, wait, we're playing Simic Yoink. I didn't update the deck list over here. Simic Yoink. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Debbie Detention is really good against us. Yeah, do you think is it possible for the the mass manip or like the sorry the well kind of both of them but but especially is it possible for the other one to kind of zoom out a little bit? In a blade of it's kind of getting cut off the uh, the entrancing melody art just a little bit so because like the person's like half cut off kind of thing. If it's not possible, it's all good. No, if if we just take the if we just yoink the deputy, we don't get to do anything with like um you know, we just have a one three, basically. Like So it just doesn't I don't think we wanna just take a one three. Yeah, it's a 1-3 with my card under it, so if I chump block with the 1-3, I get my card back, but I'd rather just take their good card. The mysteries of life are endless. Gotcha. Alright, well let's not do that. Let's not not zoom out then. All right, save image. All right, so we're going to be taking this 5-5, five, five, and then we'll have the Frilled Mystic Protection. After we take this damage. Hawkeye's all purring real loud. Definitely in a getting pet mood. Yeah, they could have Shalai where we need to like frilled mist to counter the Shalai. So I can only have two anyway. Or like so, I can only cast two of these, so I can only have one Frilled Mystic. Even if I if I shock in, it doesn't give us another Frilled Mystic. So, yes, counter target spell. Breeding pool. All right, our first yoink. <laughs> I 
No attacks. Yeah, the classic Frilled Mystic, you're Frilled Mystic play. Happens all the time. Happens all the time. I know my responsibility. This is kind of the problem with our deck too, is like Lil Lil Teferi just messes up these these yoink spells. They just rebounce it. Don't worry, I got this. We have four Hydro Crises of our own. Maybe we'll draw one of those for Mass Manipulation. We really want to draw one of those eight spells. I don't think it's just worth playing it. Like, just playing this sorcery speed just doesn't really make any sense. Just mass manipulation or dead. All right, no mass manipulation. I mean, even even with mass manipulation, they have the hasty crisis. Yeah, that was a really bad flood. We drew no Krasis, no Manipulation, no Insight, no Vivian, no Nyssa. <laughs> None of any of those. All right, so Ugins and Biogenic Oozes. Bring those in instead of these Melodies. Just going there. Do I want Vivian also? No. I don't really love Frilled Mystic, considering they have Baby Teferi out. We can't do anything with it. We can try to keep them from having that, I guess. The Frilled's... It's pretty important if they... You know, like... Like, they're going to have their counter spells, right? Like, they're going to have, like, their Dovin's Vetoes and Frilled Mystics. Wow, no lands. Um, so that's going to be pretty important of having Frilled Mystic if they don't have Little Teferi in play. Obviously with Little Teferi, no, it's not good. I don't know, maybe, maybe Melody's better than Mystic? We'll just try to Melody... The mana creatures right away. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I've seen with Plurifray decks, just be hit or miss, yeah. That's kind of seen. See, Mystic's good. Maybe not as good on the draw. Let's go on the play. Come on, land. Ooh, land. I 
I'm going to take their thing that makes all the different colors of mana. Instead of just slamming Ugin. Should hurt them quite a bit. What what was wrong with the with the tapping there? There's a, You thought there was some tapping wrong? Oh right, I was gonna maybe do melody over Mystic on the draw. <laughs> Ugin did make a big difference, the opponent conceded. It was something to do with all that mana we had. Okay. No. Basically, it's all going to be about who spends more mana. That's what a lot of standard games are, and that's what this deck is designed to spend the most mana. Yeah, I, I think Ugin could definitely be main deck in this, honestly. I could see playing Ugin instead of these Chemister's Insights. For sure. On it still with no mana. Cannot protect itself. The land shall conquer you. I'm doing it on the island here because if they just like have a deputy attention and I guess that deputy attention doesn't work. I don't know. If they have whatever removal spell, they have that enchantment removal spell or whatever. They I don't want them to get rid of one of my forests, basically, is what I'm saying. I'd rather them get rid of an island than get rid of a forest. Alright, well, opponent had basically nothing two games out of the three. We had nothing one game out of the three. And therefore, we won two to one. Right, mass manipulation does use four blue mana, but we just didn't have, we didn't have a manipulation in hand. We didn't, um, and we had two other blue mana even besides that island at the time. We were going to be playing a big crisis and drawing a bunch of cards. We'd probably draw more blue mana. It, it would have been fine. We go first. All right, sounds good. I don't think the problem with this deck is having too much mana. I think, it's, I think most of the time we'll be losing when we don't have lands. I'll keep a six lander with this deck. We'll draw things to do with the lands. Going good. This one, one growth spiral coming in clutch here. Take action. Furled Mystic's great against 
Lil Teferi, like, as far as, like, the bouncing part, I don't think they necessarily want to bounce my Frilled Mystic. Sky Marcher Aspirant? So this is mono white aggro? Ooh, bounce the frilled. Bounce the frilled. Bounce the frilled. Alright. We get a new frilled mystic. I can only take one thing right now. Yoink. Wait a little bit so we can take two things. I'll protect you. Yeah, keep on taking up there, Teferi. Give me some more loyalty over there. Let's try this. I want a history of Benalia. So we can steal two things. So I guess we take Teferi, Benelish Marshall. Have the Teferi kill the token. Nothing. Draw a new card. Let's trade here. And we gotta find a Hydro Crisis sometime. We're at 20, and we got millions of lands. The board's basically clear. I think we're doing okay. That was a good turn for them. That was a good turn. Druid, why couldn't I have you a turn earlier? Or what if you waited even longer on this manipulation? Alright, so let's find another manipulation. For... Crisis. Or Nissa or Vivian. Yeah. Or we could find a Nissa, have all the cards half off. This druid's a 4-6 now because of the Benelish Marshal. So we just get to eat this 5-4 knight. What? Post-combat Benelish Marshal? Oh, right, because of Frilled Mystic. Right, 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 right. Yoink. Major yoinks. Big time yoinks. The yoinkiest of yoinks. Um, I have a Simic midrange deck that I've played and enjoyed. I haven't played that deck in like a week or so though. 
and it has just one Tamiyo in it. It's got Nissa with one Tamiyo. Um, and then like Explore Package, Bioessence Hydra. I don't want these chemistry's insights. I don't want that card. I want this card. Okay. Uh, I gotta take out one of these. I guess I'm taking out Ugin. I don't know. Ugin's so cool. I guess we're taking out Ugin, though. <laughs> yeah, standard Eternal Witness or Tamio, yeah. I think she's like the new Jace Friends Prodigy. That's this thing of like grabbing your spells back, but then also, also like finding you stuff. Um. Doing everything. So we'll have turn three Nissa. Which Lonrun Enforcer cannot tap Nissa lands. Should I just play Bronte? I guess I'll just play Bronte. We won't have Nissa next turn. But Bronte's pretty good. If they, like, you know, keeps them from attacking, if they want to tap, Bronte takes a third of their mana. Lame. Yeah. Our opponent actually has cards before Teferi to play this time. It's kind of... It's, you know, it's kind of a pull of, like, get blue sources out for this or get forest out for this. Tap it in. Yeah, I can have any land if you have Nissa out. It gets like three, any three lands, right? So like you can just get, like you can get all three pieces of Tron in like modern. But yeah, you can go, you can go grab like whatever utility lands you have in standard. All right, and now I want to make sure that we have enough blue sources for manipulation. So not, so I'm getting a forest here. My strength fades. Deputy is so good against us. Doesn't really make sense to take more damage.
Getting wrecked by this law rune enforcer. We're dead. Snubhorn Sentry is very good at uh, helping play defense against other decks. I get, it's a good at a couple of things. It's it's really good against like like mono red and stuff. Like you know just being a three three toughness uh, body there um, right away certainly helps out there. And the other place, do I want Mystics on the play? And then also against decks that don't have very much removal, like us, one mana 3-3 three, three is awesome. And they can turn on the 10 permanent thing pretty easily. I don't. It's, it's basically been a, a staple in in mono white like for, you know, for the last couple formats. I don't. There's nothing wrong with playing it. Like if I would play mono white, I would definitely be playing that card. It's good. But. Uh, Girl spiral is good. Yeah, I like Girl spiral. So we're going to grow spiral on turn two. Like, so if I go turn one land war elf, I'm not doing anything on turn two because this is a guild gate, right? So we're going to go grow spiral on turn two plus play land war elf, and then we should be still be able to have turn three Nissa, but we do need to draw one more land. But yeah, that worked out pretty well. Now do we get this other land? No. That's the end of our plans. Draw island. It's friend incubation druid. Hey, good job, blue sky. Way to go. Just got to platinum. Way to go. Good job. Question was, why don't we see more Bioessence Hydra? I don't know. Nothing wrong with Bioessence Hydra. People are kind of just playing other things, though. It's not as, like, I don't know. You don't get, like, a ton of card advantage and stuff from it. You had a bad streak playing Esper Midrange, so you swapped to Phoenix. Yeah, once you get to a rank, you can't go back to the previous one, correct? Once you get to a new rank, you can... Um... You can relax and lose a whole bunch in a row, and it's all good. Not really the aggressive deck, I don't think. So like if they just like deputy detention the Benelish Marshal, which is likely then I, I want the Frilled Mystic still on defense. Now we're in like a tough spot. They get to just chump attack with this deputy. Together we will prevail. The land fights for us.
We could just chump attack with the deputy to flip. Legion's landing. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were, that's true. Our opponent arrested their own Benelish Marshal for being a filthy traitor. <laughs> true. Ow. Not even attacking Nyssa. I feel like they have Conclave Tribunal or... No, I was going to say that or... Luxedon. Ooh. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can just, I can steal all three of their permanents. Those are even good permanents to steal. I mean, why not, right? Uh, they probably just are sitting on counter magic, I guess. I guess that would be like the why not. <laughs> you can't take legislating. Um, Rise, my elemental friend. Hmm. I'm supposed to tap the other one, but whatever. Yeah, I, I did say permanence. Yeah, my bad. All right, I guess I guess I do just need to attack in. Uh, I don't want them to get this Benelish Marshal. Can we draw a Krasis. Where are you at? You're at minus eight. Yay! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's just eleven with the untap. So let's just do ten. Let's do eight. Oh, I oh yeah, I could have I could have adapted the other druid end of turn, couldn't I? Yeah, my bad. Well, they tap their blue. Time to steal their stuff. Don't have a counter spell up right now. Yoink. It's yoink time. How rude. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. You, 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 and you. Do I not have enough? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I don't have enough. All right, whatever. Going to combat. Attacking. Not you. Not you. Not you. All you. Give me that Benelish Marshal. I was one off.
All right, so now two, four, five, six. I counted two for this one before. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve is four. Oh wait, X is four though. Whoops. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out how to do something. We did it! Hooray! All the stuff. Yoink. Yeah, I, I counted the Hinchelin Harbor as a forest whenever I did the quick count earlier. Two wins. Zero losses. Simic Yoink. <clears throat> Big yoinks. Ugh. I have not played blue green proliferate Tron, but we have a donation for tomorrow to play a, a Tron best of one deck, which it doesn't really have proliferate, but this is a list that uh, was donated to me to play. I still think this should be Ugin. But I guess Chemistry's Insight works a little better here. Oh no, the mirror! Oh no, the mirror! Yeah, this deck's competitive, yes. As you can tell by us playing a mirror match here. Yoink. <clears throat> Are they gonna like, yoink their elves back? <sighs> yoink it back. <sighs> no, 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 no. What are you doing over here? Thinking you to resolve Nissas? Can't resolve Nissas in this world of frilled wizard lizards that we live in these days. Yoink. Game of yoinks. <laughs> Countered my draw two yoinks. It's rude. Yoink. So I'm down to six. Down to four. They can get the double yoink. But then... I can just single yoink back. And they had a shock. We got lethal. So let's see.
Yeah, it's it's in here. Z flux. So we can find the list. Um. So we want all the yoinks. I guess I don't want Ugin. I don't know. Ugin actually kills these planeswalkers though. Do I just like not want to play Chemistry's Insight? I guess not. I gotta cut cards. Maybe I'm not playing Ooze. I guess I'm not really sideboarding too much. Just bringing in this other melody. All these other cards I brought in. I'm cutting like all these chemistry's insights. What what did I bring in? I didn't even bring anything in. Where how do I'm just like cutting all those chemistry's insights. Like what what did I bring in besides one melody? Oh the negates. The negates. Right. That's how I brought him. I don't think we're winning this game. We'll see, though. We do have two counter spells for the most important cards. That's good. Oh, they have Frilled Mystic. It's annoying. Oh, Insight. Sure. Do they have another Nisa? Maybe I shouldn't have cut those. I didn't know what else to cut. Ditching Krasis, huh? Doesn't really seem right. Trading a Krasis and, and a Chemist's Insight for two cards? And get getting rid of Anissa, too? So I certainly cannot get rid of Chemistry's Insight as we see how that game plays out. Gotta keep all this instant speed stuff in, but then what the heck am I cutting? I guess it's just Paradise Druids or Incubation Druids. Those cards are so good though, but they're not, not great if you steal them. 
I don't think he cut Nissa Krasis. Like, there's, there's literally nothing else besides Incubation Druids and Paradise Druids, so I guess we just cut those. All right, Druid's out. Would I rather have this been a Druid? Hmm, maybe not. Maybe. Got This card's definitely important for the Llanowar Elves like to be able to have right away. Round to get some lands. Land. Woo! Got there. That druid. I guess I'm going to have to get rid of Krasis. Get our own Frill Mystic out here. This has been a crazy game. I haven't been talking too much. Sorry. Just been, like, all these things are, it's like, I don't know, this is just a little different of, like, exactly how I want to be sequencing these and, and everything. It's like I'm, I'm changing my mind kind of constantly throughout this, you know, just kind of learning, adapting, learning, um, you know, seeing that, like, first first things I was trying mess not good and and so on and I you know certainly wish like different lines would have been different but all right so we have eight so we can steal two three four five six seven eight is steal two but then I don't but then they can steal back. I can't keep my negate up. I could steal one and keep negate up. I 
I would absolutely be taking Incubation Druid. That's the that's the best card over there. If they played that Nissa like that, I'm almost sure they have another Nissa. Love where we're at. I don't regret ditching that crisis, but I needed to hit land drops at the time. But now we hit the we did hit the land drops, and then we just continue to hit land drops. So I guess they have frilled mystic also. Maybe Are they shocked in there so they could adapt and have the extra mana. Unfortunate. If we draw something besides a land one of these turns, that'd be nice. Ugh. Would be nice. Ten. Alright, let's do... Uh, I guess just six. They can certainly have two steel things, which would be really bad. Okay, that's good. We're still in it. Um, yeah. They just gotta be sitting with like more mass manipulations, I would think. And I should tap him out. A big manipulation, we counter it. Wow, right, we've got that Hydrocrasis right in time. I thought we were losing this. I don't really know. Why'd they shock there? Do they have like Frilled Mystic also? Even even if they do have like filled mystic also, they just shocked to get an odd mana. That that shock didn't make any sense. Yeah, like look like they have one mana left here. That shock didn't make any sense. 
but it just doesn't matter if that doesn't resolve. All right, we won the Yoink Mirror. All right, Blue Sky, have a good night. Won the Yoink Mirror. That was a nice game. Yeah, what a match. I was you can say that that one went back and forth. Right, Hawkeye, you could say that. All right, 3-0. We got two or three matches, more matches to play. Depending on how we do. Wow, Growth Walker. Hey, stop messing with my headphones. Stop. Hey, stop. Here, you want the headphones? No, those are my headphones. Stop. Here, go, go play with them over there. There. Go get them. All right, fine. I'll go get you your headphones. Look at him walking away. You're not doing a very good job of, of catching. Where? Or, or fetching. Up here. Yes, I want to count the spell. Chutoy. All right, so next turn we'll have six mana, so we'll be able to. Um, all right, so we're gonna we can like manipulate for one or crisis next turn. I think I think we just like manipulate, take the take the Tamio, minus get back manipulation. That's a good combination. Yeah, this is Sultai Command that we're playing against here. I think. Maybe not. Double Contempt. Maybe not. Hey, you're just batting everything. Ugh. Just batting everything away. Look for. Let me aid your research. Um, Nissa. Nah, more mass manipulation. Ah, oh, there's a melody and a Nissa. Those are the only two cards I was gonna. I was thinking about saying were melody and Nissa.
yeah, there's a 30 minute timer. I, I hope I don't like lose any games because like the 30 minute timer, but I don't really expect to. Oh, violence is impolite. This looks like just like regular Sultai Sultai. Yeah, this is just like regular Sultai. How come to me? Seek and find. Hmm, no attacks. They could like minus Vivian to kill the Krasis, have like, have a hostage taker take their no wild growth walker back. back. You're just going all just like before. <laughs> hey Scamden, thanks for that resub there. Should try to make sure that we don't. I know I noted this somewhere. There's a mass manipulation. Don't mill out here. So four, so one, two, uh, just two. So let me take the four, three, and this. Cast that. The wilds are my shield. Yeah, the Naya Feather deck is doing real well. Yeah, uh, we lost both the times to Phoenix, but I don't think that Phoenix is a is necessarily a bad matchup. But those are both of our losses there. Um, I'm at twenty nine cards in library. So I'm going to take up one more time. I think you will find my notes helpful. One. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just want to do six. Here. Hmm. No. <clears throat> Ugin. Ugin's cool. I Ooh, I want a Ugin. Thousand lifetimes. More data will be needed. I want a Ugin. No, we are playing. We're playing a donation deck here. Um, 
Nah, this isn't even worth it. Or I guess I'm gonna just... I just draw two. Ooh, Grilled Mystic. Right, that one's in my deck. That's a good one. Right, that's a card to be no taken up for. The wilds like I do. Yeah, that's a, that's a real good one. No, stop. Alright, so we have double Frilled Mystic available right now. It's like this this three mana down like this down here casts one. Um and this up here can cast another. Or we know I no, I'm one blue blue source short. Never mind. Uh yeah, I guess we kill that. I guess we counter that. So never mind, I am one blue mana short. I don't have the other filled mystic available right now. No, I couldn't take Eugene. I had Entrancing Melody, not Mass Manipulation in hand. So I couldn't take Ugin. So I think well, I want my own Ugin. Do I want all these negates? Like, they're going to have, like, a bunch of counter magic of their own here. Right? Like, that's just going to be, like, their deck. It's just going to be a whole bunch of counter magic. I don't want this Vivian. So Ugin, Ugin for Vivian. And then what about Negate or Ooze? Well, Hydrocrasis... See, Hydrocrasis draws a whole lot of cards, but... It's weak to... Like, it's weak to Hostage Taker. Real, real bad against Hostage Taker. Oh, I had Paradise Druid also? Oh, I forgot about the Paradise Druid. Anyway, what... What do I want to take out here? Maybe nothing. Maybe just go with this. I got the Frilled Mystic still. It's got to be better to play Krasis than not play Krasis. It's got to be. This is just too slow. We need mana creatures. Uh, those are mana creatures. My hand's not doing anything. All right, this hand could do something. Sure. I don't think they get rid of the melody targets after sideboarding. No, I, I don't think melody gets worse. So they're playing Nissa. So they have Nissa, Vivian, Tamio, Ugin. All right, maybe we need all our negates for the third game. I guess I could take out Melody for negates. Yeah, I guess I could take out Melody. Yeah, so they shocked in there, so they have their own counter magic they're sitting on. Well, the thing is, they just, like, ma it's not like the Planeswalkers are safe against Mass Manipulation.
right, all these negates. All right, we'll take out Melody. And I'll cut a Paradise Druid. Oh, I'll cut one Krasis. <laughs> right. No, I understand, but what I, what I was saying is that it's not the best idea of just going all in on walkers whenever we're playing all the melodies. All right, we'll see if we draw a green land. I assume we have just a ton of green lands in this deck. I didn't necessarily look, but I assume we do. Kinda wish I had a melody instead of this negate to steal that land war elf. Yeah. How does Disdainful Stroke work? Uh, when when Hydroid Crisis is... Whenever it's on the stack and you're casting it, the X does count for whatever you paid. So I paid X is 4, so the 4 adds to the blue and the green. So it had CMC of 6. So Disdainful Stroke countered it. When Hydroid Crisis is anywhere else, when it's in your hand, when it's on the battlefield, when it's in your library, in your graveyard, in exile, any other zone... It does when it's, when it's anywhere else. It does count as X being zero, and so it has CMC of two. All right, come on, let's get this land. No, no land. Of course, if I if I don't like block their Jade Light Ranger before, they could have just kept on attacking and kept up like maybe keep up a counter spell kind of thing. But maybe they don't have a counter spell. Yeah, no problem, Shelter. To the library. Recklessness and fear. Ethan itself serves me. Yeah, you you probably saw it, right? Firestorm right above you. The song. I have learned much from my ancestors. So. I have learned little here. All right, Tamiel's out of there. Can we rip a mass manipulation or something like that? Ugh, I don't have entrancing melodies anymore. Tilt. So 
So if I don't block, we're dead in two turns. But if I do block, we're dead in three turns. We have so much mana. I think life is more precious. Yeah, that negate was was the melody before. Ugh. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, I love that. I love that. Alright. Opponent used their negate very greedily. There was no reason for them to negate that. But now... Now I can rip this manipulation. They don't have the negate anymore. Come on, let's go. Rip manipulation. And our opponent really wants to... Our opponent's good at beating this matchup. A bunch of assassins trophies? That's good. And all these dresses and negates. They got us. All right, three and one. So we're back, back against the wall now. Yeah, I, I wish I would have kept in the melodies. I don't know what I should have cut though. I guess mana creatures. I guess we just didn't need all the mana creatures. I guess that's what we need to cut. It's like the paradise druids. But I, I, I don't regret bringing in negates. I think we need negates in that matchup. But I think we need melody too, because crisis in particular. Dreadhorde invasion. Hmm. I guess I just don't. The bones. Alright. We will not fail. The land fights for us. Yeah, this deck is kind of hard to, to board with because this is like a kind of a it's it's kind of like a combo deck or a critical mass deck kind of thing. Like where all the the pieces in the in the main deck are vital that that you want to see. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five. Nature's true power. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I guess I didn't. I guess I could have just done the four, the island this turn. But oh well. I'm definitely so basically. I'm definitely adapting the incubation druid this turn. Yeah, the Naya feather list. It's in, it's in there. It's in the Stream Decker page. It was right underneath Dark Angel whenever you did the exclamation point decks last time. Do I like this type of deck? Um, It's okay. It's not like one of my favorites, but I wouldn't say I dislike it. I don't know. It's... I guess I'm, I'm probably closer to the dislike than like part of the scale for this. But it's it's fine. Alright, celebrant triggers fault. got six of them. Well machine gun. It's it's just not it's like there's nothing really to do. Like it's there's not you just kinda Play all your mana stuff, play your like steal their things and then and then you win. There's just nothing else to do. It's just it's very repetitive gameplay kind of thing. And it's not it 
I, I usually like like the mid range decks like where there's a lot of different like the games are different and everything. The games of this deck like when you basically no matter what you're playing are are all really similar and it's just it's, it's el very el elementary. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and think I'm just going to take a Cruel Celebrant. I mean, there's obviously a bunch of decisions and everything. It's not... Rise, my elemental friend. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I did miss that block with the Incubation Druid, that's true. I was just thinking of the other ones, but yeah, my O2 should have blocked the 1-1. And I'm, I'm not saying, like, there's not, like, different lines and everything. Like, you know, like, that turn... Like, when you have a whole lot of mana and a lot of cards, you can be taking a lot of different lines. But the thing is, is when you have a lot of mana and a lot of cards, all the lines you ta are taking are... Like, you're going to be winning, basically, when you're already at that point of having a lot of mana and a lot of cards. You don't have to really worry about losing as much, honestly. I could have done a lot of different lines there that we would have been winning with. Could have played a big crisis. Yeah, I could see that. I could see I could see people uh, liking that, that you're kind of doing the same thing every time and then it gets you used to it and you start and uh, then you can really... Uh, start underside understanding like exactly what you want to do sideboarding wise and everything um and yeah i could see people gravitating towards decks like this for sure uh i guess i want biogenic ooze and i don't want frilled mystic and i'll take the melody i guess i want these grazers maybe one less melody again Nah, get this Vivian out of here. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, uh, must be a mobile error. Here. Um. All right, here. You want to see the the Naya feather? Here's here's the um Dark Angel. It's up on YouTube. There's the YouTube video. That's the other place to go check out my, my videos. Also, the YouTube page is youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. And that one's already up. And so the deck list is in the description. Oh, no problem. Yeah, happy to help. It's it's not nearly as much of a feather deck as other feather decks are slash have been in the past. It's much more of a Naya aggro that has like a cool feather thing. Today we didn't get to really use feather at all, uh, but I played the I played the deck yesterday also, so you can you can see the the watch the video of it, us playing it yesterday also. And yesterday, I I got to use Feather more. Hmm. Land. Probably going Biogenic Ooze next turn. Let me remind you to fear those born of darkness. Never mind. 
<clears throat> Taking priests of forgotten gods. Wait. Z, undo. Can I play Nissa also? Yes, I can. So we can go one, two, three. Uh, four, five, play Nisa, Witness the time tap for blue, the untap, the land shall conquer you. tap for blue, yoink. <clears throat> Alright, Nessa takes three. Cease this aggression. Probably taking another one from Soren. Do not test me. Time for a drink. This cruel celebrant's gonna be a little rough. This priest would gain us life. Pass the blockers. You don't die. You certainly die. Um... Mm. I guess I can't let priest die. I guess I could let priest die. No, I probably shouldn't let Priest die. Just let Nissa die. Alright, we're gonna go block here, block here. Before damage, I activate. No. I get one trigger. Alright, I'll just jump with this land war elf. Final answer. I will endure. Do not assume I am fragile. Okay, I think we got this. attack. Uh, six here. Oh my gosh. Attack. There we go. They kept on moving and I kept on clicking the wrong one. Come on. There you go, bud. Kind of a crazy deck. We just don't have any lands anymore.
Just making more creatures. Whoops. Should wait on that, I guess. I guess I shouldn't attack with you. Y'all can attack. Yeah, they ritual of soot. That'd be brutal. Just lose everything. Should have this. Like I was saying, for a while these decisions we've been making haven't really mattered too much. But we're just going wide. We're just miles and miles ahead. Yeah, Kaya's Wrath. If they had, yeah, if they had a Kaya's Wrath. That'd be real mean. I'd still have, I'd have two, <laughs> three threes left, basically. All right, four and one. Here we go. Final boss time. We're in there. Where's my final boss emotes? Gotta get those in the chat. Alright. Turn one, Lilana War Elf. Just gotta draw one more land and then our hand's basically turned on with like everything costing four for the most part. No! Oh no. Not the Lilana War Elf. There are two L's in this, right? Yeah, Lilana War. <laughs> Can play a 1 1 Krasis. Don't draw any cards. Dido Chain Whirler. Doesn't seem ideal. Dole with the Twitch Prime sub. Yet again, thank you so much for that third month in a row. Thanks, Dole. No, this isn't really an evolution sage deck. There are times like with just Nissa with uh yeah with Nissa in play that it kinda looks like it, but it's not really an evolution sage deck, I wouldn't say. Yeah, mono mono red final boss. Here. Alright, so that's the ninth sub of the day. So just one more sub to hit a sub goal. So if you're enjoying this the stream and want to get access to all these emotes, including all those final boss emotes that everybody's putting in the chat. Consider hitting that sub button. Alright, so we got a lot of sideboard in to do. I want all those things. I don't want Paradise Druid. Um, manipulation. Hey, Dark Angel! He's not to try sub. Thanks, Dark Angel. Alright, that's our 10th sub of the day. Hooray! Boom. All right, we'll mark that down. Getting a, uh, getting another sub goal towards the sub battle stream. That we'll have 
whenever we hit enough, that's our 14th out of 20 that's in the info panel there. Uh, so I, Vivian can kill a Frenzy. What don't I want? Do I want to just get rid of Land War Elves? Maybe I do. Just get rid of Land War Elves. This deck, these things cost so much. So what if we get rid of Manipulation also and play Negate instead? Um, maybe an Ugin over one of those. All right, let's try this. Oh, get this back in. You can't beat the final boss. You always go for two. Ah. Thanks, Dark Angel. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we need to draw lands again, but that's why we got so many lands in our deck, right? Don't chalk the druid. No. <laughs> this is where Ixali's Diviner usually pays off. Grazer did its thing. Now I got Chemster's Inside on turn three. Grazer was cool. We can just block here. I think we just block no matter what, right? They have to cast two instant speed spells. If they want to do that, that's fine. Not give them like a real easy light up the stage. Ooh, Frilled Mystic's nice. Okay. I was planning on just going Nissa. So my plan here was just go Nissa, tick up, and not not put any counters on any lands. Nah, maybe I would have put counters on a land. I think I just want to Frilled Mystic this end step uh, risk factor. Wow, just untap. Just had a big bag of nothing. Good thing we had the Frilled Mystic available. That Phoenix would have been annoying. So do I want a Krasis for four or Nyssa? I think I want a Nyssa here, and I will tick up on the island. Yeah. I will aid you. Harness the elements. Start attacking. All right, all right. I've heard that enough. Skip song. It's our third final boss in a row. Bum, 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 bum. Next turn we'll have, we won't have a next turn, Never mind. No next turn. Mm -hmm. 
So I want this fourth negate in here. I don't really want all this stuff. I don't want Vivian. We have Ugin and Brontodon that can kill. Frenzy. With them having Phoenix, should I play one manipulation? And we have all the melodies, of course, but... Nah. You think I should just remove negate? I like negate. Now, Paradise Druid does have the Hexproof, so it doesn't die to a burn spell right away, but it does curve right into crate to Chain Whirler, which is what I was thinking there. Like, you know, I play... Good job, Grazer. See, turn one Grazer. Like, I... I play Paradise Druid on turn two, and then they untap in three mana, play Chain Whirler, and kill my thing. And that's kind of bad. Wow, Grazer eating the coil. It's got to be good for us. So next turn, do we want to go Bronte or Druid? Let's go Bronte with us drawing that negate so that next turn, hopefully we draw a land and we can have Druid plus negate so we can protect Druid. Because, okay, I was kind of thinking they would have like another coil if they coiled that, but I guess not. But yeah, this does punish them for wasting the coil. They got Wizard's Lightning. I want to attack in. Nope. Alright, come on, land. Let's go, land. Hooray! Nope, no text. No wizard's lightning there. Make them have another one on the druid. Because next turn I'm I'm planning on adapting incubation druid next turn. I think that's my plan. Make it a three five and then be able to add a bunch of mana for the Krasis. That's the ideal plan, at least. Let's do this. <laughs> we must rename this deck Simic Grazer <laughs> if we Let's win go. in honor of its sacrifice. Oh, it's you burning. Wow. Getting rid of the Frenzy that can't cast this turn? That's big. I kind of wanted to put together a green-white Grazer deck. That's like, you know, four Grazer, four Land of War Elf. And... Don't want to shock. I don't really know how I'm dealing with this Chandra. I'll figure that out later. Wow, okay. I guess opponent didn't think the Chandra was good enough. And we defeated the final boss. First time today. We are 0-2 versus final bosses. So far today. But Simic Yoink gets it done. We didn't even get to... Yeah, we didn't do any yoinking in that last match. 5-1. <laughs> Simic Grazer it is.
Where do you send it to? Yeah, just whenever whenever you donate RM Waffle, just in the description of the donation, just set, just put the link. You know, like it'll they'll say like, do you want to send a message in your donation? Just send just put the link of the deck there. Um, you can also send you can also just send me the link here. Like send me a whisper here on Twitch. You can send me it on my Discord as well. Um, that's another place where you could send it. Um, okay, you bought a quip from earlier. Okay, cool. So then, yeah, just uh, if you have the link to the chat, if you have the link to the deck right now, you can just put it in the chat right now, and I'll just save it. So that's something you can do also. All right. Anyway, that was Simic Yoink. Uh, this deck was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, like you know, it was, it's a, it's this is a pretty solid deck. You know, like this is just this deck acquires a lot of mana. Basically, yeah, it does just a great job acquiring mana, and then it can use all that mana with some really expensive spells. Uh, some of the best in the business with these three X spells. Krasis, Melody, Manipulation. The name of the game in Standard is spending more mana than your opponent, and that's what this deck can do. This deck can just spend more mana than your opponent. For example, like when Mono Red wins, Mono Red wins by spending more mana than the opponent because they use so much mana early in the game. You know, like they're they're casting a one drop and then two more one drops, and then they're casting a chain whirler to kill to clear the way and you know start attacking. And you you just don't spend as much mana as they do, and they they end the game before you can catch up and spend and start spending more mana. And that's just kind of magic, is who spends more ma more mana. It's the reason why Wilderness Reclamation is just a fundamentally broken card because of the amount of mana it allows you to spend but anyway that's a different conversation but yeah this deck is is really good at doing its thing of uh stealing all the opponent's stuff and everything um yeah that's kind of about it that's what i got um this yeah you're saying this deck's kind of blowing up yeah uh yeah i've been playing against some of these decks and so that's why my selesnia arcbo deck i got one tristani in the sideboard and Considering playing a Tristani in the main over the over the the wolf thing, the five mana wolf creature. But yeah, Tristani's real good these days. That's for sure. But yeah, Simic Yoink. If you wanna if you wanna just get a whole bunch of mana, steal a bunch of things, uh, take your opponent's planeswalkers. If you're upset of your opponents are just having all these Teferis and um, Tamios and everything like that then just take them. You can have them yourself. All right, that's Simic Yoink. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it, and please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching. And